says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Today I say to you, all you sinners, the end is near, and you shall be prosecuted. Holmes. Hey, it's Watson, and the police have reported another killing. Wait, what do you mean? There seems like it may have been connected to those incidents you have been looking into. There was another church house killing? That's what it's looking like. Yes, you mean the one with the uh, whole Christian symbol thing along with it and the Catholic beliefs? You need to hurry. The police are requesting you. All right. I'll be on the way. How long since the killing? We're looking at minimum 24 hours, sir. And I mean, there's a definite three punctures of about three inches deep. It looks like it's been a struggle by the uh, stress in his veins on his forehead. And it looks like he's been, he's been through a lot. And this clearly, this sick bastard is trying to leave us a message. Whether that's a S or if it means something deeper, all I know is a it's connected to something. Do you have any more leads on the killing? Um, let me see the case file again. Oh, 
I was looking through the evidence, and uh, I think there's someone I want to talk to. So, uh, thank you, Father Ryan, for letting us come to your house in such short notice. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we're just wanting to hear a few answers from you, a few questions about some of the connections between some of these killings. Well, it's tragic. I knew the man. It was, it was terrible. I heard that it was linked to some cut type of Christianity. Yes, it uh, had some weird, I guess, symbols of crosses mixed with satanic parts. I just, I'm not 100% sure of what cult or what that might be connected to. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure how that would be. I mean, I can't really think of anything. So, Watson, what would be your impression of the weapon of choice or how the killing was done? Well, if we're looking at about four multiple stab wounds. The, the knife used probably had to be at least six inches long. Pretty modern knife. Pretty deep cuts. Nice and sharp. Are there any groups or cults that are accustomed to this type of killing or incidents that you may know of? I'm not exactly sure. I, I remember something back in the around the 1930s I heard a story of a group that used to kill and put S's on all their victims, but I'm not exactly sure. Do you, so you were aware of the S put on this man? Do you have any idea of what that might be modeling, or if they're just a person trying to mimic, or I just, we just need some leads here? In my, in the case, uh, I would guess that it's probably a copycat. Wait, so when you say copycat, are you inferring that this is going to happen again? Well, sure not. I think it will definitely. I think that's all we need. Thank you for your time, Father Ryan. It was not nice speaking with you. Is that a blood stain on your sleeve? Oh, I'm so sorry. I was trying to pick up some papers and I accidentally cut my phone. Oh, we all make mistakes. Yeah. It's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Coming. Thanks for coming. I know this wasn't the best time for you. It's totally fine. Anything for a brother. But, as you know, first you must cleanse yourself, so can you start by washing your hands? I'll stay in here. Yes, Father. What the heck? Stupid electricians were supposed to fix this last week. Who's there? Why am I here? Because you're a sinner. And all sinners must die. Is this the address? This is the one. Looks like it'd be a killer says. Don't like the looks of it. You ready? Let's get it down. Be prepared for whatever might be. This is number two. Tell me what happened to him. Uh, we got four stab wounds. Another symbol on his chest. This time, the letter I. This looks worse than before. What do you think the symbol means, Sherlock? He could be spelling out something or relaying a message. S-I, I don't... It's leading us to something, but I haven't quite connected the dots yet. S and I. S and I. Hell. Crosses. Two killings, S, I, four, match. S, I, S, I. I've got it. 
how could I not thought of this earlier? Right in front of my face. Watson, write this down. The places, they're all making an image. They're all connecting to something. First killing, it's on a tree. Going back to the beginning of Genesis. Oh, how did I not see this? In the beginning, there was man, and then he has woman, and then everything that leads into what today is the, uh, in the Garden of Eden. Yes, when they eat the apple. When they go and they commit sin, that's where the first killing is, with the tree. That's why he kills them and lays them at the tree. It's where death starts. Yes. The second killing. It's just in a home. It's just in a place that, okay, the earth is our home, but that's, that's not what it means. All right, that's not what this earth is. It's home, but it's just representing this is where we're living right now. This is not the end. The third one. The third killing. It's going to happen where all man dies. Where all man lies in the end of the day. It's going to happen in the cemetery. It's going to happen where, the, where a man lies down. And for the last time, stays in the grave. How did I not see that all this was connected? The S and the I. What word? I was thinking maybe SI unit maybe is going mathematical with the fours. We missed it all along. SI. The last one, I mean, you can guess it. It's going to be an end. Sin, starting from the beginning with the tree, this is all leading on to what's going to happen. It's going to be in the cemetery, and it's Father Ryan. He's the one making this all appear to us. Let's go. church for most of the time praying and studying over my new place that I believe. You know I find that hard to believe. How is that? Well, I mean, any church official or uh, someone high in the church usually is uh, aware of what's going on in the world. Isn't that kind of what they fought against? The world? But shouldn't you know what's going on? The fact that someone going totally against Christianity and uh, killings is continuing the... Uh, new trend of uh, changing it up? I guess so. I just just haven't had enough time to pay attention to that. To be honest, I must really go. I need to get back to the church. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you later then, Father Ryan. Right. Have a nice night. You too. There's a pulse.
Yeah. Sararo, you know what it is, right? Who are Ricky Wine in the mixtape? You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> First, let me hop out the motherfucker. Porsche, I don't wanna hit that air. Don't see like a horse. I be ballin' on the Got me feeling like sports. Dash got so much wood, I could build me a fort. Ain't too many things I ain't done yet. Everywhere you look. It's probably a copycat because I'm a <laughs> freaking idiot. <sighs> Right. You coming to Oh, sure, Doc. Where'd you come from? <laughs> we have a regular conversation. Say, hey, Ron. And he's... Hello, Sherlock. <laughs> That's a definite alibi. Is that a blessing? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I was trying to... <laughs> 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 Stupid cat! <laughs> Mom! Jesus! Oprah! Dale Earnhardt, I'm hungry, thirsty, bored, kind of tired, smells like Father Ryan's fart yeah! in here. I think Sherlock killed him. Shut up. Jinky Scoop. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this movie. And no, Cody Eanes, Elliot Giles, John Mason, Caleb Winters, Alex Kirchers, or Jackson Chris were harmed in this film. And forever goes a long way.